If you've ever played around with electronics, you're probably familiar with these useful little guys. If you've made anything interesting on a breadboard, you're probably familiar with this too. Now your circuit isn't working and you need to dig through this jumper jungle to find out where you stuck something one row off. Let's ditch this mess and go jumperless. Using a bunch of 8x16 analog crosspoint switches wired together into one bigger switch, Jumperless makes real, fully analog hardware connections between any points on the breadboard or the Arduino Nano header at the top, instead of needing to use jumper wires. Now you can throw circuits together in seconds. Just throw down some parts and wire them up in Wacqui, or any other software you prefer. The jumpers will be updated in real time from your project. Jumperless also has voltage and current sensing, so the RGBs under each row can show you a ton of information about what's going on with your circuit. It has two DACs, four ADCs, two current sensors, and five GPIO that can be routed anywhere on the board or the nano header. Need some power? Jumperless has you covered. The breadboard's power rails are selectable between 3.3, 5, and plus minus 8 volts with a slide switch. It's not faking it either. These are your actual signals moving around through CH446Q analog crosspoint switches. Each connection can pass plus minus 9 volts at 50 megahertz and are tested up to 100 milliamps. At its core, Jumperless is really just a huge 100x100 100 100 analog crosspoint switch that's easy to interface with. It could be used for anything you like. The breadboard and nano header is just a convenient way to plug stuff in, but it doesn't need to be there. It's meant to allow other makers to incorporate as much of the routing matrix and logic as they need into their own PCBs and just worry about the rest of their project. This thing is open source AF and was designed with the intent to make as few assumptions about how it's used as possible, while still keeping it very easy to use for beginners. It's controlled by an RP2040 and shows up just like a Raspberry Pi Pico, so it's super easy to load your own firmware on it to extend its functionality. You can use the existing firmware like a library. Or, if you're more of a scripting language person, you can just send it lists of connections over serial and Jumperless will make it happen. It's super easy to command with quick and dirty scripts, and the don't connect power directly to ground kind of protections are done on the board itself, so you can play around fearlessly. You can even type in connections by hand if you want. Jumperless can make or break connections in under 30 microseconds, and do it programmatically, while being able to measure voltage, current, and resistance very quickly. So measurements can trigger a change in the connections. Want to tune a 555 for an exact frequency? Just put in a bunch of different valued capacitors and have the Jumperless switch them in and out until it's spot on. If you want to see what's going on somewhere in your circuit, you can connect any of the four analog to digital converters or the two current sensors to any row, and have the hue and brightness change with the voltage or current. It can pass high-speed signals without issue. So yeah, of course you can play Doom on it. See those two rows of headers at the top? That's for an Arduino Nano, or one of the hundreds of development boards available in that footprint. Now, I know people will get caught up in the form factor here. If you compare this to a regular $3 breadboard, then yes, it's a complex solution to a somewhat minor problem. Dealing with rat's nest breadboards is held sacred by electronics engineers. Here's a short list of some awesome new things you could do with a jumperless. I'd love to hear your ideas, especially the completely unhinged ones. Use it to probe pins on an unknown IC. Or guide you through converting a schematic to a real circuit. Simulate parts you don't have or don't exist alongside real components. Make it into a universal EEPROM reader. Run genetic algorithms on hardware to find weird AI-generated circuits. Send virtual jumpers over the internet to another jumperless. Automate patch cables in a modular synth setup. Or do whatever crazy cool thing you can come up with.